Today I'll be doing a quick video on white armor. For this I'm going to be using some stormtroopers and my first treatment is going to be xenophil highlighting followed by a dark wash treatment including an experimental method that I'm trying the very first time in this video and then finally speed paints, specifically blinding light. Only for the zenithal highlighted model, I'm going to be priming it black first. And I apply black all over the model like this. And then spray it with white paint or white primer from a 45 degree angle all the way around. And basically after that, I'm done. For the other three methods, I'm going to prime everything white. So the next three models are going to be prime white before I do anything else to them. The second method that I'm going to use for white armor is washes. I'm going to be using dark tone and then with a pointed tip brush, I carefully apply it onto all the seams and all the features that are on the Stormtrooper. What this does is it actually pops those features out and gives it a lot more 3D definition. All the while, I try to avoid washing the larger armor panels to avoid making it too dark. The next method is dipping the model. Now instead of using this quick shade from Army Painter, which I found makes everything really glossy and also really really dark as you can see in this model, I am going to experiment with something different. I'm going to put this model in a medicine cup and then mix 50-50 dark wash with water. Now this is the first time I'm ever using this method, so I really wasn't sure how it's going to turn out. But after stirring it, I dipped the entire model into this water wash mixture. And the feet didn't get washed, so I used a brush and I just kind of dabbed it all over the feet like this, and then it's done. The fourth technique is the most conventional. I just apply blinding light speed paint all over the model, and it settles into the recesses as shadow and highlights the upper surfaces automatically. Nice and easy. After that, I went ahead and finished off the Stormtroopers. They're really simple to paint. A little bit of grim black speed paint all over the guns, the joints, the backpacks, and any other features such as binoculars and so on. And you're done with that. Also remember to put them in the eye sockets. And then use sand golem speed paint for any of the shoulder pads for specialists or officers. To finish off the bases, I apply simple flocking using some white glue, and then I'm all set. Let's compare the results of all four. The first one here is my tried and true zenithal highlight. What's nice about this, and I've shown you how to do this in my previous video, which I'll put in the upper right hand corner, is it has very distinct light effects where the light is stronger on the top and then it kind of fades out a little bit at the bottom. If you notice, the legs are actually a little bit darker and it's a very realistic look. And it's also got pretty convincing lines for something that took very little time to do. The second one is just lining with dark tone. So it's just a white prime and then carefully applying the dark tone onto all the seams. The pros of it is the seams are very pronounced compared to zenithal highlighting where it's a little bit more muted. But at the same time, you'll notice that it's very dirty. There's a lot of overflow of the dark tone and it makes the model look dirtier and darker in a few areas. So if you want a little bit more of a grungy look, this might work. Also, if you want it to have a little bit more of a cartoonish look where it's very distinct lines, this would also work. Next is my experimental dip. And honestly, this didn't turn out that badly. I wasn't sure how it was going to work when I first started this. But just dipping it into 50-50 dark wash and water and then bringing it out looks pretty good. I can see myself doing an entire army super easily with that method. I am somewhat pleased. Probably the one that was a little bit underwhelming was the blinding light speed paint. It doesn't have much in terms of definition. The lines are very soft. And if it wasn't for this bright light that I'm shining on it, it is really hard to see the definitions. So this one is okay if you really want a bright look for your white armor. This is not bad. But for me, it just doesn't have the depth of lines that I'm looking for. Those are the four quick methods that you could use to paint white armor. I hope it proves helpful in your next painting project. I will see you in my next video. Take care till then.